Uh, you sore today? Oh my god. Is that your Ross Fit shirt? That is. Do you like it? I don't know. You want one. He called me a pussy once. For someone who wants to be a CrossFit Games athlete, what, what advice, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, the advice is that you would give them? I think it's just being, being focused, like understanding, creating small goals, um, having a great community around you. It's going to get tough, understand that. Injuries may come, obstacles may come, but persevering through that and um, you'll be there. There's four or five of you in the female division who appear to have a chance to win it. Where's the male competition? These guys have no chance of winning. I mean, how, yeah. how do they go on? How do they push? It's not about the win though. It's like, you know, the reason I'm crying right now is because in my eyes, I've already won what I wanted to win. I thought it would always be more about the first place and it turns out that it's not because I'm happy right now. I'm still gonna chase it, don't get me wrong, but I don't know how many times in training I've gone, I don't wanna do this workout. I'm not gonna do this workout. It's fucking stupid. I'm too sore, I'm too tired. I do the workout and I say I'm not gonna try and then I do it and I figure something out. And I'm like, if I hadn't done that workout, I wouldn't have figured that out. I could have gone home right now, but instead I did the workout that was put there for me and I figured something out and I wouldn't have known that and then I wouldn't be here where I am right now. So if it's not for here, it's for your kids or some other part of your life or maybe the business you own or whatever it may be. Like There's still so much more to gain than just a placing at the CrossFit Games. Four of the five guys in the bottom heat are from California. Yeah. Should have Dan Bailey stayed there? Maybe he should have. Don't get angry. I'm not angry. Savant. I know what you guys do. What's, what do we do over you here? You guys were just subtly chanting my name, Savant, Savant, because you're like, fuck, why hasn't he come over here this morning? No, you want to know what you're actually talking about? Yes. How many athletes actually listen to their coach when they're telling them something? Because I just watched a few people, and I was like, D are they actually listening to what their coach is telling them, or are they just like, nah, they don't know. I got this better than them, you know? I wonder that too about camera guys. How many of them are actually listening to the people they're interviewing? Like Mike, he just he's walking around doing nothing. See, look at him. He's over in the corner. Oh shit, he is. <laughs> Mike Dalton. You're supposed to be video. Get back to work. <laughs> Four of the guys in the California region are in the first heat. The guy that's not in the first heat, Garrett Fisher, has two losses here. La <laughs> two, two, two last place finishes. <laughs> two losses. <laughs> that's, that one, that's what they're called now. <laughs> what what happened in that region? Is that is that the easiest region in the world? Are the boundaries wrong? Are the like? Yeah. Did they drink the water? Is it the programming? They drink the water? Is it the programming? Like what is going on with that it's region? The water. <laughs> You're just getting set up for. <laughs> <laughs> Just disaster. Pundits like, oh, I'll right. It the questions. It's a great question, though, don't you think, for the pundits? It's a very, very, very good question, but I don't think you will ever have an answer for it. No. I have what? Like, what would you base it on? Just this guy's taking one for the team. Yeah. Just like sheer, <laughs> you know, like sheer performance. He's gonna kick me in the head. No, no, I gave you a fair warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got long legs. I don't know. So it's on me now. We'll see how much space we have. Just try and avoid the braces. <laughs> They're so ready to come off. I'll take them off for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry in advance. I remember staying with her in Boston and I felt like I was starving the whole time because she eats salad for like every single meal and I do not get enough calories out of a salad. You have stuff in your salad. You have like rice and sweet potatoes and yeah. It's like a family salad. I didn't feel salad. like it was very fulfilling meals. But, okay, and you told me she was starving until like day four either. I was like, we can go get more food. Savon, I feel like I haven't seen you all week, man. I've been giving you space. I smell like you. It's not. Someone threw a water bottle at Noah Olson. He didn't see it. You pointed it out to him. I'm walking backwards. I almost trip over a cord and you pointed it out to me. Yeah. You're observing shit on a level or <laughs> that's like much different and um... I try to be aware of my surroundings and help where I can. Have you always been like that since a kid? No. I wasn't a nice kid. You weren't? No. Like magnifying glass on bees or pick on <laughs> other kids? Or... Didn't you win one of the events? No. I fucking pulled a rookie move and thought it'd be really cool to hit 315 for the snatch instead of just big dick and Garrett Fisher on 306, but whatever, good second. How did you get so good at the snatch? I got really fat in the off season. I was like 220. 
and I got really strong and then just kept that strength throughout the season, dropped a little bit of weight. You're not concerned sharing that secret? Oh, no. Dude, burritos all day. He's going to run to the wall and do five parallel handstand push-ups. Is that how deep it is? Uh, yeah, I think that's approximately how deep it is. That's really low. Yeah. So, is there something you want to tell Josh? Uh, I, yeah, I do. No, I got something I want to tell him. He thinks you're too old and I'm too old and you're washed up. That's what he thinks. He thinks age is just. Well, move. We're, we're, we'll move. See how it plays out next year.